Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts. We're here at the MDA and Modus event here in Skegness and we've got Big H, Harry Ward. Harry, enjoying the exhibition scene? Loving it, yeah, yeah. Just done all the meet and greet and everyone seems to be happy to see me, so it's great to be here. It's been a hell of a month for you, has to be said, winning your first Pro Tour. What's that feeling like? Has it really sunk in what you achieved? Oh yeah, definitely has now because uh, it took a week, a good good couple of weeks, sorry. Uh, you know, the week after I was at the European Tour, after I'd won and I lost, probably playing better than I did the whole day I won one. Uh, and then I went on holiday, but now I'm back, back practicing again. Uh, I know what I've done and hopefully with the more practice I do, I'll be able to keep doing well and uh, maybe maybe pick up another title in the coming year or year after. What was that whole day like? Because obviously you're in this bubble that, obviously for the people that haven't been to the Pro Tour, it's just obviously you, managers, there's no fans or whatever. What, what was that whole like? And as it went further on, did you dream, hang on a minute, I could win one here? Yeah, uh, you know, I, it, it's a weird, weird feeling, uh, you know, because I'm not used to the Pro I've not really had much experience on the Pro Tour. Uh, but, you know, the further I went, I've, I made a few quarterfinals this year. I got to the quarterfinal, played Nathan Aspinall. Uh, it was a bit... Nip and tuck, it weren't a great game, I missed loads of match starts, but when I won that match and got to the semis, I thought to myself, you know, you can do this now. Uh, and I did, and it, I've not looked back since, and, you know, it kick-started my career, really. What's the whole journey like? Because obviously everyone's known the name Harry Ward for a long time as this youngster coming through, and then you signed with, with MDA. What was all that like and the process like, and how, how have MDA helped your career from just being a bricklayer to now someone that can really play this sport? Well, it's, Matt Ward and MDA have helped no end. Uh, you know, I, having a backing like that just uh, spurs you on. It makes you want to practice because they they believe in you, and it always helps your confidence knowing that someone else believes in you as well. Uh, you know, not just them, like the family helps as well. And uh, Matt's really supportive. Um, you know, last year I was going through a tough time. I, I'll be honest, I was struggling. I really didn't want to play much towards the end of last year. And uh, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have gone Q school. Uh, but Matt says, you know, give it a go. Uh, there's no pressure. Just do your best. And <laughs> that day went brilliantly, and I've just gone on from there, really. Just touching on that, obviously, I'm guessing not many people know that you were thinking about giving it up and chucking it all away. Why was that? Just because results weren't coming, or was it just a combination of things? You know, uh, yeah, results weren't coming, but that was my fault, really. I, I'd got not got the eagerness to practice, and then you get into a bit of a rut then, you think, well, oh, the results ain't coming, but it's my, it was my fault, you know, I wasn't practising, it was, if I practised, I'd have probably picked up results, but, and it, it just doubt, doubt as well, self-doubt, and just, it was, I was in a bit of a downward spiral in, in, in life in general, but, you know, I, I had a good Christmas with my family, a few weeks off work as well, and just forgot about everything, and then went back to it after Christmas, got back to work, picked up my darts again, and <laughs> it went brilliantly, so... Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I'm guessing that self doubt has now evaporated. Yes, yeah, it has. Uh, you always have a, you always have something in the back of your mind, but it's just you know, uh, you can get rid of it if you just, just, just tell yourself, tell yourself you're going to win. Be confident, and uh, I've just been doing that right this year. Since you won that pro tour, have you set yourself any goals for the rest of the year? Where you want to be ranking wise or, or tournament wise? Obviously, I'd love to push towards the top 64 because. Uh, I have to be in the top 64 by the end of next year to keep my tour card and uh, that was just the goal in general and uh, to qualify for the world championships which I think I've done pretty much and the players championships as well they were the two main goals me and Matt spoke about um, but now I've, I'm not far off the Grand Prix so that's something to push towards now I've won that title uh, but other than that you know this year's been great and you know uh, just a nice nice showing in the world or, or the players would be would be brilliant Again, you touched on things there. Just winning a pro tour has opened so many doors for a young player like yourself. Yeah, yeah, it does. You know, and uh, you know, I don't want to be one of them players that throughout the years have won a pro tour and it's been such a long drought to win another or not even won another. Uh, so I want to stay grounded and you know, uh, not think too much that I've won one, I can win another because I think that's the wrong attitude. I've got to just do what I was doing, which was turning up and just play, taking it game by game and. You know, just keep keep getting better. Keep uh, what the start of the year I struggled with consistency, but that's come now. Uh, so hopefully it will just keep coming, keep getting better and better, and I'll just push on. Obviously, everyone knows you're still working as a, as a brickie as well. Is there a plan, or would you like to give that up and be a full time darts professional in the near future, or is that still a long way away? Still a long way away, I think, because the bricklaying helps me take my mind off darts. You know, if I was waking up in the morning, I had to practice, and I mean, I practice every day anyway, but. You know, you wake up, you practice, and that's all you do, and you think, 
well, I've got to practice because that's how my income's coming. You know, with, with Brick Lane, I'm, I'm, I make a good income and it takes my mind off the darts and maybe that's why, why I've been doing so well because the darts is still an enjoyable thing for me. Maybe if I, you know, packed in my work and it was my source of income, it might put a bit more pressure on me and it might change my mindset. So it, for, for now, it's working, so I'll keep it as it is. Do you think that's a... A problem for <coughs> younger men, younger players, full stop. That a lot of them just become full-time pros, and obviously darts is their sole income. And when that's not happening, they're like, "Oh, what's goes on here?" Like you say, yeah. the pressure of not having to rely on darts as an income has that helped you? I think so. Yeah. Uh, you know, but there's like what how Rob Cross did it is is unbelievable. Honestly, it's a great achievement because he's packed up his job and it added pressure towards him, in my opinion, and he. he Dealt with it brilliantly. And obviously, had a great first year, and uh, but I, I I just don't think that would suit me doing that as well because I'm a big lad and working, having a physical job helps me keep the weight to down as it is now. Not been putting any weight on, but I think I would if I packed my job in because it's such a physical job, um, and and it just helps me in life. You know, I, I love being outdoors. I love uh, the physicalness of the job and. Just yeah, it's just going well at the minute, so I'm not going to change it. Touching on the Rob Cross story, does that also give you belief that that could happen to you? If it can happen to Rob, it can happen to anyone. Oh yeah, yeah, you know it can. Uh, Rob's an incredible talent, and I know I've got talent, but I don't see me winning the world. <laughs> it's not going to happen, I don't think. But you know, just just to win a title in my first year, I'm really pleased with that. That's something I didn't think I'd do, so I can just kick on from now. Harry, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you here. I know we've tried to get on the channel for a while. Thank you very much, mate, and all the very best no for the season. Thank you very much. Thank you.